Alrighty, so here we've got Castle on the Coast. We put it into Switch. This review code is courtesy of Clabetter. Clabetter? Clabetter? I don't know however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, the uh, publisher of the game here, so we've got settings. So we've got music, game volume, uh, voice volume, arcade, language and invincibility, HUD and captions. <clears throat> The arcade mode is just pretty much the single player mode with like stages where you just collect things. This is a collect a thon game where you play as George the Giraffe. Um, he is a. Uh, he is the mascot for a children's hospital, I believe, in California. Um, so this game is a collect a thon, which is similar to like the old school like Banjo, uh, Banjo Kazooie games, uh, games like that. Um, so here you play as, as George, and this is a 3D platformer. So you've got the, uh, the B button to jump or double jump. Uh, you've got the uh, Y button to do a twirl attack. Yeah. And then X is kind of like just a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a, like a dash or a, or a dash and roll, I don't know whatever you want to say it, but... Uh, Yeah, so I'd say it's like a like a tuck and roll, I guess. But you collect these little uh, these little stars. There we go. And yeah, you just run around collecting all these stars, and you, the more stars you collect, the further you can get, and the more doors you unlock. But yeah, this is the game. So I need fourteen stars to open up that door. So you just um, oh, okay, you just, uh, yeah, run around collecting these stars. I love how it's a, uh, Parker giraffe. I, I love that. I love that you can just kind of just jump and just pretty much jump on any surface and just climb. It's really cool. And oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Apparently, because I'm in the tour, I'm not going to die. Okay, well, that's good to know. But can I? <laughs> I may just be stuck. Come on. Just come on. Come on. Just come on, man. There we go. Let's get up here. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, well, he looks like he's having fun, <laughs> even if I'm not able to get up there. <laughs> I'll look over here. There we go. Ah, right, so I need 14. I've got nine. I need a couple more. Uh, let's see where they're at. They should be over here. Yeah, over here. Uh, and then you've got these uh, these other uh, items here. I don't know what you'd call them, really. Um, but they're utilized to unlock costumes for your uh, character. So like, you can make him like look like a wizard or, or like a knight or something, which is kind of cool. Kind of neat. Um, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't like, unlock any powers or anything. It's just cosmetic, but still, it's it's cute and it's fun. So we got eleven. We got a couple more to grab here. Okay, so I gotta remember where they're all at. I like how you can just kind of look around and see where you're where you still have yet to go. Let's. Over here and uh, let's go over this way. 
There you go. There's the other ones. And I love how straightforward this, this tutorial is. Oh yeah, like like it says there, you can you can play as co-op, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can have a friend or your child or another family member um, play as Swirls, the the squirrel. <laughs> he comes out of his he, he uh, attaches to uh, to your back, and he can throw he can plant flowers, which are utilized as like um, little. Um, There we go, now I got to 14. Um, there are actually little um, uh, jumping platforms. And he can also throw acorns as an attack. Oh, he can also um, utilize his tail as like a, a uh, little like a little parachute. That's kind of cool. And he can also get out and run around. I reckon right on his back. It's kind of cool. Kind of neat. And I will be showing that a little bit later. So we beat the tutorial. Now we move on. So essentially, yeah, you collect. You're collecting. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Um, you, uh, yeah, you go on collecting items. Um, I'm going to skip this. Collecting stars, collecting um, those pink chip things, those things right, right there. I guess they're flowers. Oh yeah, they're flowers. Okay. Right. So you collect flowers and, and stars. Stars are utilized, like I said, to unlock uh, new areas, and the flowers are used to unlock cosmetic th um, things, like this right here. <laughs> so I need 170 to unlock this. And I'm assuming it's a costume. I don't know if it's a costume or if it's like a like an actual character that you can play as. There's an enemy in here. Right there. That frog blows fire. Hello. Um I do wanna say that this game. Um, the one drawback I have, I mean, yes, it's a collect-a-thon, obviously. But there are a lot of items to, or there's a lot of things to collect. I mean, this is, I mean, they, they're not joking when they say collect-a-thon. There's just a ton of these flowers everywhere. Uh, now, you don't need to collect them all, obviously. Um, they're just used to unlock items. But there are a ton of them. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily um, be too concerned with collecting all the flowers as much as I would trying to collect enough stars to move on. Um, the one thing that I do not like about the game is that if you do want to unlock a particular um, uh, costume, like if you have enough, right, uh, and you're in this level and you're nowhere near this castle, let's say, right. There's no map to show you where that, that costume was. You have to remember where it was. Um, I wish there was like a map that showed you, you know, where, where each of them are. I think it'd be nice. But I mean, it's, it's, that's a, uh, that's kind of a nitpicky thing, really. Uh, it doesn't distract from the, it doesn't detract from the game at all. It's just something I wish that was, that was here that isn't. But yeah, you just run around collecting things um, and you know, exploring environments. It definitely encourages you to explore um, a lot, <laughs> you know, to, to get all these flowers and stars and stuff. Uh, the environments are cute. They're huge. They're colorful and bright. Um, oh. And uh, yeah, this game's great. Let's see what's down here. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. 
What's what's down here? Anything down here? But like I said, that oh look, more stuff to collect. See, there's there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> uh, and the environments are just ginormous. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from me, shark! So yeah, I would definitely recommend this game to anybody that's got kids. Um, if you want to, if you want an old school style collectathon game, this game is definitely worth looking at. Um, it's like I said, it's cute, it's colorful, it's huge, uh, huge game world or huge, huge environments, um, and it's just a ton of fun to play either with either just by yourself or or with a friend or family member. It's definitely. Play great, great fun, fun, uh, fun experience on the Switch or any other console uh, you happen to get this on. So you have to collect more flowers. So you have to collect the various gems in order to put them on this tablet. In order to gain an entrance to the tower. Memory serves as a tides a tower. You have to get. You have to. Oops. You have to get to. Hi, George. <laughs> Come on, drop through there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move. Oh, we can go and move on over here because we can. We have enough. Oh, no, 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 not that way. We have to go that way, the other way, I think. Actually, maybe not. Let's see. Nope, this way. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go this way. Um, as you can see, the game does slow down some, but it's not, it's not game-breaking. You have little checkpoints along the way, like you see there. And we're not going that way. We're just we're in there. We go this way. Come on. Come on, George. Let's go. Okay, go this way. We'll collect that starch because it's right here. We're going to keep going. Yo, drop. Talk to me if you need a hand. Oops. I want to. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and light those torches. Okay. There we go. Oh, we only have seven. I thought we had enough. Apparently not. We need nine. There's one right there. Eight. We need one more. One more right there. Okay, now we can move on. I love, I absolutely love the, uh, Parkour element. The fact that I could just. Hello. I'll grab this too. I can just jump onto pretty much any surface. There we go. Now we can keep going. And we got 10. It unlocks. Now we get to the next area. So yeah, like I was saying, I mean, this game's cute, colorful, just overall really neat. Um, and a game I cannot recommend enough. So this will uh, conclude the single player portion. I will go ahead and now show you uh, some uh, co-op gameplay. 
All right, so here we are featuring the co-op component, uh, couch co-op co co couch co-op component of uh, Castle on the Coast. So I'm playing as the giraffe here. I've got my daughter playing as uh, Swirl the Squirrel. So in addition to uh, the giraffe's ability to use the jetpack or use the double jump in the event you don't want to use the jetpack, uh, you can use the squirrel as a parachute. If I can just get on the uh, stairs here. Okay, so if I go ahead and do this and I say go ahead and do the parachute, <laughs> the squirrel becomes <laughs> a parachute, which is really cool. So yeah, this game is very much about teamwork, uh, if you want it to be. Um, and then you can have the squirrel uh, throw acorns. Which is kind of cool. And if you hold the button down and do the D-pad, you can actually aim it, which is really, really neat. And then she can throw, or he can throw, rather, um, acorn or uh, flowers, which act as trampolines, which I think I did mention uh, previously, which is kind of cool. They can go anywhere, and you can jump and and get to get to various places, which is really cool. I like to see that. And. <laughs> Uh, oh, you have, a, you have a submarine over here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the submarine real quick, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go over here to the submarine. Whoops. I want to jump on the tree. It's over here. <laughs> All right, so you can go to the submarine here. And you can... Uh, you can dive down. You can uh, launch torpedoes. Um, the squirrel can even launch acorns <laughs> while you're in the submarine, which is kind of cool. And you can also launch flowers as well. Uh, it's kind of neat. <laughs> My daughter's launching flowers right now. So yeah, pretty pretty cool uh, multiplayer aspect, catch co-op aspect. I really like it. Um, yeah, so again, this is a nice collect-a-thon game uh, to play with, with friends, family members, kids, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, really, really lots of, lots of fun to be had here. So uh, this line of the review here, guys, has been a look at the single-player and co-op play, uh, playing aspects of uh, Castle on the Coast. Um, I think uh, uh, Clubatter for the re-opportunity. This game is really, really neat um, and one I would definitely highly recommend checking out. So... Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time. And <laughs> take care and happy gaming.